Hey guys, this is Coach B with Coach B's Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best APCs in the game. So these are what you're going to be working for whenever you start a state. So your long-term strategy is going to be how can I get this particular hero. So before we get started, I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Obviously that's very important to us. It shows that you really care and you are, and we, and we know that you uh, like the content that we're putting out. So please subscribe, like the video if you like it, comment in the bottom if you have any questions or things you would like to add. So for those who don't know me, I'm Tovo from State 596, as well as three states before then. So here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about each season and how relevant they are to the best APCs in the game. If you watch my other videos for S1 through S4, I did talk about that, and I talked about my personal long-term strategy. I will talk about that as well. So, there's three different routes. One, if you are a max spender, you're obviously going to have every single hero. So, this video for you is just showing how you can combine your heroes to be the strongest in the game. That's one route. However, that's the road less travel. The second route is the one who still spend a decent amount of money, who may spend like $20 here, $100 here, $20 here, whatever. That's the second route. And then the third route is the uh, people who do not spend that much. So you have to definitely think about that when you start a new state. So obviously, most people who are first-timers don't plan this out. Hopefully, you watch this before you get started. Or if you haven't invested a lot of money, it's a great idea to start over with an actual long-term strategy. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the mixed troop, then fighter, then vehicle, uh, and then shooters, okay? Obviously, I'm very, very big on vehicles because I had the best APC in the game. Now, just recently, two new heroes came out, which are Gluttony and Rose Noir. We cannot put out a video on how good they are until we've tested them hundreds and hundreds of times. So if you see a video that talks about them and what they're best with right now, I mean, they've only been out a week. So there's no way for us to truly know what's best with them because not everybody even has the heroes to test them with so mixed troop formation as you can see uh, the, if you're looking for a mix the best mixed apc you have to have canonist she's vital you have to have tech priestess and hummingbird now with gluttony coming out he may replace canonist and or not necessarily replace but be a good alternative to canonist as well as maybe canonist and gluttony can go together but uh, off the bat, they seem to be both front row heroes, but they might be good together. Um, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Um, as you can see, there's another one that's a fighter slash vehicle combined APC. I personally do not see this one. Uh, nobody really used it from what I see. I've seen it maybe once or twice, but it actually is a good APC. But me personally, I would rather have a very, very, very strong vehicle APC if I want to attack somebody rather than having a fighter slash vehicle APC. So Canada's major and organic are in that. So so I can sit, sit here and go through each one, but I'm not going to. Now, the uh, mixed APC, the reason I started with that, because if you watch my other videos, my long-term strategy was to have a decent fighter APC, a decent shooter APC, the best mixed APC and the best vehicle APC. Okay, so that's why I chose the earth that I chose. So if you look through S1, I told you to skip it. And as you can see, there are no S1 heroes in the best APC. Now, obviously, there's some unranked ones. When you go down, you've got a couple of S1 heroes in the fighter in the fighter APCs, but they are. Again, not that good at that particular stage. Nobody uses fighters, so it's not important. Now, going to S2, I talked about Ivanov. Now, before I get to Ivanov, in the videos, I said something that was kind of controversial to a lot of people. I told you that I did not like Executioner that much. But just about every video you watch, you talk, they talk about Inquisitor and Executioner being so, so good to each other. Which they are for season two, but again, I'm a long-term player. So if you look in these shooter day, shooter APCs, Executioner is not in any of them. She's completely irrelevant by the next season. So now if you go down to the unranked ones, she's decent with Deuce and Hummingbird, but not that great. 
um, I would rather have somebody else. So that's why I went for Inquisitor. You could see this right here was the APC that I was going for long term. Inquisitor was a very easy hero for me to get because he was obviously with Ivanov, who was my main target. And then Valkyrie it, uh, is in a group with some other heroes that I wanted. So I knew that I was going to get Valkyrie. The only hero that I wasn't necessarily going for their particular group was the Patriot. That's one that I was going to have to kind of reach for. So if I'm going to invest ticket to try to get Patriot, I'm going to get lucky and get some other ex-heroes. Versus in Season 2, if I'm going to waste ticket to get Executioner, I just get a bunch of other useless S2 heroes. So I prefer not to do that. So as you can see, Executioner long term, not that good. Now Panther, who I said was good for Season uh, 2. Season 3 and Season 4, and then he replaced by Caesar. You can see that he is the lowest strong APC in vehicle. However, he still has a 9.5 rating. So the Major Anastasia, Panther, Ivanov combo is still a strong combo. Um, but there are, once Season X comes, there's a lot of APC that really, really overpass it. So now to get to my main point with Ivanov. In the second best APC... To current day, you can see that with Heaven Redemption and Organic, he's right there. Now, obviously, there's multiple 9.9 .9 APCs, and he's in two of them. He's a very, very good hero because not only is he powerful, but he's so versatile that he goes with just about every strong APC. So, obviously, with Heaven Redemption and Organic, he's really good. And then you can see with Kami and Countdown, he's good. Come down again, Hakami, count, Heaven's Countdown, he's good. You look down even further, you've got another two APCs with him. Another one right below it. I mean, if we count it, let's just let's count. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different APCs that are all over 9.5 ratings with Ivanov. He is by far one of the most versatile heroes in the game. He's very, very good. The only other S2 hero that's up here would be Viscount. I told you he's a pretty decent hero, but he I, I was not going for him. It just was not worth me investing the tickets for him. Him with Canonus and Lone Wolf is very, very solid. I personally was going for Canonus. Um, I may have gotten Lone Wolf by chance, but I, she's not one that I was really... She's not well sought after. Most people, when they go going to fight a hero, they're going to protect Priestess, and they're going for Canonus. So, that's with uh, S2. So, if you're looking back at my S2 hero, uh, S2 hero video, you can talk about when I talked about long-term strategy. Now, hopefully, it makes sense to you on why I was saying what I was saying. Obviously, you're going to suffer without getting Executioner in Season 2. But by the next season, you'll be fine as long as you go for the Sisters. Moving on to S3. I told you the Sisters were the most important heroes of S3. That is very, very true when it comes to vehicles. As you can see, the sisters rule S3 and S4. Best APC, in my opinion, hands down. Countdown is phenomenal. So you can see that she's also in, a, in an APC with a 9.9 .9 rating. So if you followed my strategy, and you got Ivanov, and you got Countdown, all you need is Kami, and you've got one of the best APCs in the game. So, for those who not, do not spend a lot, you spend a little bit in S2, save it all for S3, get the sisters, and then for SX, go for Kami, boom, you are already set, you can compete with even the best uh, players in the game. So, that right there should, should hopefully convince you. Now, if you look further down, you've got Vanguard with Kami and Death Rider and a 9.8 uh, APC, very, very good. <laughs> Vanguard and Countdown are down here with Kami again and Ivanov. You got Countdown with Ivanov and Crusher. They're still very, very good APCs that they're in. A ton of them over 9.5. Now, are they as versatile as Ivanov? No, but they are in a lot of really good APCs. The other S3 hero I talked about was Major Anastasia. I did not invest in her like I did the sisters. However, she's still solid. So, if you go for the sisters, or sorry, if you go for the Major Anastasia combo instead of the sisters, you will still be able to compete with just about everyone. It's just not quite as balanced as the sisters are. But, 
you still can have some of the best APCs in the game if you go that particular route. The only bad thing about it is, uh, obviously with Countdown, I mean, it's very hard to go through this game and not get Countdown. So, you can see the Major Anastasia, uh, Kami, and Death Rider is really good. You can see that Kami, Ivanov, and Major Anastasia is really good. Uh, there's a couple other APCs that she's really good. And then you see the regular APC that everybody is known for with Panther, Major Anastasia, and Ivan at the top. Or sorry, at the bottom, and then you got Caesar, Major Anastasia, and Ivanov. So those are silent APCs. And now the next one, which was, remember I said the best hero in the game until Season X is Tech Priestess. Actually, even in Season X, she's still one of the best heroes in the game. You cannot have a fighter APC really without Tech Priestess. You can't have a mixed APC really without Tech Priestess if you're going to have fighters. She's in all of them. I mean, she's that good of a hero at S3. So, again, reverting back to my strategy for S3, go for the sisters until you get at least uh, a hero max without the seventh skill in the sisters. And then, save your tickets for when you have all six heroes. That way, you're trying to get the rest of your sister duplicates, and you can get a couple of duplicates for Tech Priestess. Save your Doomsday coins, specifically for Tech Priestess. That is my advice for her. Save your hero tokens for Tech Priestess to ensure that you get her. Having Tech Priestess in S3 is not that important because nobody uses fighters at that time. Having her for S4 for the mixed APC is good, but you can get by without her. As long as you have the sister. When SX comes, you absolutely need her. And by that time, she's going to be open in the token shop. And you're going to already have some Doomsday coins from Eden Rising. So now you can finally get Tech Priestess when she's important. So not having her for S3 and S4 is not that big of a deal. Because you can ride on the sister's coattails. But having her for SX is huge. And if you do pay off or do go with that long-term strategy... I've already kind of paved the road to ensure that you get her by following what I did, okay? Now, and if you don't know what I did, I would encourage you to go watch the S3 video. Now, that, now we'll, we'll, we've talked about each season. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll lastly talk about S4. So this is the one season that I told you that there was not a clear-cut strategy for. For S1, skip it in my opinion. S2, make sure you get Ivanov. S3, get the sisters. Those are, you think that, in my opinion, you have to do if you want to compete at the highest level. Okay? I can sit here and say that that's the best advice, and I stand by that all day long. For S4, there's two different routes that you can do. Or really, there's three different routes you can do. And you can find some, some information that justifies all three routes. The first one, skip S4. Now, if you were to skip S4, you can't make the best the uh, the best mixed APC, which is okay. What you can do at that at that point is have more tickets for SX. So, if you were to do that, and you could see if you spent on S3, you've obviously for vehicles you're fine. You don't need any S4 heroes. You can still make all the best APCs <laughs> for shooters. The third best APC is Valkyrie, Betrayed, and Nomad. And now with Rose Noir uh, going into the equation, you have another hero that can make some better uh, APCs with all SX heroes. So you've now got more or double the tickets, really, if you skip S4, and you can have better APCs without Hummingbird for shooter formations, assuming you have more tickets. And then for fighter formation, if you look up here at the top, you can have Iron Sentinel. Cannons, Tech Priestess, which is a 9.9 .9 rating. Maybe you went for Viscount earlier, and you got you can get Cannons and Lone Wolf. Uh, Sven, like, there's a lot of heroes right here in this middle range that you can get and have a good fighter APC. Now, if you go to the mixed APC, you obviously won't have the bird combo, which sucks. But what you can do is have the organic combo, which is not as good as the bird combo, obviously, but it's still a solid APC. So that... The skipping S4 would be a strategy for someone who doesn't spend a lot. That is not going to be able to get a lot of tickets for SX. So it gives you a full season to save. So my advice 
For those who do not spend a lot, skip S4. For those who do spend a decent amount, you can be justified in skipping or going for Hummingbird or Deuce, whichever one you want. So the second strategy is going for Hummingbird to ensure that you can get the, mi the best mixed APC. <laughs> so Canonist, Tech Priestess, and Hummingbird. Now, what you won't have if you go for Hummingbird, if you go for the three hero banner, you will not have Venom Walker, and you will not have uh, Caesar, and you will not have Deuce. So, what you sacrifice is the best shooter APC because you won't have Deuce. Okay? So, it, it's, you know, apples to oranges. So, you can have the best mixed APC, and then you can go for really good vehicle APCs and uh, X heroes. And if you did what I did, you can have Valkyrie, Inquisitor, and Patriot. And maybe Rose Noir will be in there earlier on. Or later on as well. So that's one strategy. And then the third strategy is go for Deuce and not go for Hummingbird. Now with the mixed APC, you can't have a good the, one of the top two mixed APCs without Burn. So you would have to settle for the poor man's mixed APC like I talked about. Um, if you had Venom Walker, you will be able to get the best fighter APC. But everybody knows that the best vehicle APC and then the mixed APC is going to be better than the best fighter APC. So I prefer to go for these rather than this particular APC. What you are able to do is now get the best shooter APC with Deuce, Koshai, and Nomad. And then obviously again it may be different with Rose Noir. So it really comes down to what you want. Do you want the best shooter APC in the game or do you want the best mixed APC in the game? Um, so those are two different strategies. Or do you want to save and try to get the best X hero APCs? Now some may say, well, how about I just go for the six hero tickets um, and try to go for both of them? You can, but it's more expensive to do that. Me personally, I can't afford that. I don't. I'm not made of money, so I had to choose. So when you go for the six hero banner, hummingbird. In my experience, does not drop as much as the others. So you're going to be without, more than likely, at least one of those. The game knows which heroes are the best. Um, so they definitely don't drop the best heroes as much as the other ones. So, yes, you can try to get both of them. You can try to get both of them with it, without maybe the seventh skill, but it's going to cost you more tickets. So the strategy that I laid out are for the ones who do not spend a lot or are trying to spend smart. So, by all means, if you want all, 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 both of them, go for both of them. You're obviously going to be better off. But, obviously, again, it's going to cost you more money. Now, going forward, as you can see, just real quick, again, my strategy was going for this day PC. If you've watched my videos, I went for Hummingbird. My fighter ones, I went for Juggernaut. So, I can get a 9.5 rating fighter one. Okay, obviously, I'm not going to get them back at these two right here. Juggernaut, Canonist, and Tech Priestess. My shooter formation was Valkyrie, Inquisitor, and Patriot. Again, I think Inquisitor is better in the long run than Executioner. And then Vehicle APC. The poor man's uh, Vehicle APC is Kami, Heaven's Redemption, and Death Rider. Based on the banners that they come out with. Now, obviously, they're changing the banners again. So, which is okay. Because now, if you, you could just go for Kami, Captain Ivanov. And countdown, which is another poor man's APC, but it's still very, very good. Um, best APC in the game is hands down Heaven's Redemption, Organic, and Death Rider. It's so, it's so good. I mean, I love, love, love watching that one in action. Um, so as you can see, this is a great, great guide to base your long-term strategy up. So again, I'm going to go back to what I said at the beginning of the video. When you start a new state. Look at this first. And what I would do is I would circle the heroes that you want by the end game and show some patience and save your tickets. If you go through the game, and, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you my strategy all the way through, what I advise you to do if you're one of the two that either doesn't spend a lot or you spend a decent amount but not max base. For base heroes, save your tickets. Until Iron Guard's banner comes out. Like if you look right here at the bottom. You can see Deuce, 
Iron Guard, and Hummingbird is still a really good formation. Um, so Iron, Iron Guard does stand the test of time, it's, and it's the only base hero that you can put with later season heroes to still be really, really good. So save your tickets for Iron Guard's banner. And sure you get him. And with that, you're going to get some more base heroes, obviously. Especially with the new 10 hero pool. Skip S1. If you really want an S1 hero, go for War Boss. The next best APC will be a good after the ranked one. It's obviously going to be Panther, War Boss, Ivanov. But War Boss goes out of style as soon as Season uh, 3 comes. Then, after skipping S1, for S2, make sure you get Ivanov. If you want to get Viscount, go for it. But he's in a different banner than Ivanov. Get Ivanov. You absolutely need Ivanov. Uh, within that banner of Ivanov, you're also going to get Inquisitor, which is a great, great bonus. As you can see, he is in one of the best APCs. Whereas 3, get the Sisters. And if you have a little leftover tickets, you might want to try to get a couple of duplicates for Tech Priestess. Go for her. For S4, Either skip it for the really uh, poor players. I mean, you know who you are. Um, then for the second strategy for S4 is go for Hummingbird. Third strategy is go for Deuce. And then obviously if you uh, spend a ton of money, go for both of them. SX, it's really up to you. I mean, you can see what the best XX, SX heroes are. Um, you just got to base it off. You got to look at banners ahead of time. Um, look on online, see what, what banners are with what, or with what, and then go for what you feel like is best. Obviously, heavy redemption and death rider for vehicles. I mean, you need them. You need them, and you need Kami. Kami and Crusher are the most versatile SX heroes. They go with just about anything. Um, shooters, Nomad is by far the best hero in the game, and except maybe now Rose Noir. Um, fighter heroes, you already got the best fighter hero if you follow the strategy. Then Cannonist for SX is. I mean, she's so good. You definitely need to get cannons. So that is what I would do for the uh, best APCs. Make sure, you, again, you plan out your long-term strategy when you start a new state. Hopefully this helps you. And again, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout-out to Huddy and uh, all his guys for making this guide, making it easier on everybody. I mean, obviously a lot of us know this information, but the fact that they took the time and put this on a sheet of paper for everybody to see is really, really great. And obviously they... They have contributed to the game more than just about anybody. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully it helped you. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the video. Have a good day.